What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hot Farm. We're back with the chicken compost system. It's time to take everything out of bay one that I'm standing in and put it in bay two. So I'll give you a close look on what the material looks like. We're about, what, two weeks in since I pulled all the material out of the coop. If you haven't seen their other two videos, this material is wood shavings from a lot of the brooder boxes. It's also grass clippings. It was some leaves, some pine needles, but a lot of wood shavings from brooder boxes. Let's look at it. Oh, I'm also gonna mix it up for you so you look up, so you can see what's on top and what's on bottom. So these girls have done a great job at kicking it apart. That's one pile that was in that corner. Another pile was in that corner. It has definitely cooled down. It's below the green there. I'm just not wanting to show you, but you can tell. So now, we've got material looking all the way up in here. Let's get close. You can still see some of the leaves here, some of the grass clippings, some of the shavings. Let's see what it looks like underneath a little bit. Because usually the stuff on the top. looks different than the stuff on the bottom it's getting dark it's breaking down <laughs> all right let's feel the material materials good and moist now you can see what it looks like I'll show you where we're putting it we're going to throw some of it over here in this corner and then we'll snake it down the wall every couple of days come in here and whatever the chickens have kicked apart and put kicked apart everywhere we'll take it and we'll put it up back up against this wall here and eventually we'll just keep going down the wall until we get outside once we get outside we'll let it sit there for a minute with no chickens messing with it and then we'll use it same thing with this side we'll start in this corner Go right on down. Now it's time for everybody's favorite. I know it's your favorite. Don't lie to me. You get to watch me scoop compost. <laughs> My buddy Jim over at the Green Dream Project always used to say, you guys really like his digging videos. Would this be like opposite of digging videos? Since I'm like making soil, I'm putting it on top of the ground instead of like dig digging. Or would this be digging videos? Am I digging? Hmm. Philosophy. <laughs> now those of you that want to make some of your own compost, it can it can be a little time consuming. You just don't want to put together put together a pile and let it sit for six months, then you need to actively work your compost pile. One reason why I have it with the chickens because they can do part of the work for me. Instead of me having to break the pile apart, they can do that for me and all I have to do is restack it. I like to listen to podcasts or other YouTubers, so I'll just set my phone up while I've got work to do, say an hour's worth of work, 30 minutes worth of work, and I'll listen to someone's videos. I'll listen to someone's podcast while I'm working. Kind of knocking two birds out, two birds with one stone, or if there's something I want to learn. Like I'm gonna be making some blackberry wine. I've made some before, but I wanna try it in a bit different way. So I can post my phone up, just kinda of listen to how to make blackberry wine or to a Joe Rogan podcast or anything like that. So while y'all watch me work, I'm gonna be listening to something. Oh, not to mention, the exercise you get from this is great, guys. There's not a lot of talk right now about your immune system. I think that is a very important thing that we should be talking about. In this day and age, 2020, we should be talking about your immune system and how healthy you are, which includes exercise. Great way to get exercise in is to turn your compost pot.
All right, guys, we are done scooping that stuff out of bay one into bay two. And it's looking pretty good. Let's give you a close look. We've got two very good sized piles. Three foot tall, that one's about five foot long. Three foot tall, about four foot long. We'll wait a couple of days and they'll do like what she's doing right here. Kick it apart, eating the bugs and the worms. And then I'll come and get what they're kicking apart and throw it back up onto the wall. And we'll snail that all the way down until we are outside of the chicken area. And then we'll cover it and let it sit. Let me show you what bay two, or excuse me, bay one is looking like. Everything's out of the corners. You find some worms down there, girl? All clear. Good to go. Let me show you what the coop's looking like, too. Oh, we got some girls taking up some prime real estate in the coop. A broody one back there in the dust bath. But they have some shavings in here, and we've been clearing and turning over beds, so they got a bunch of broccoli plants and collards and stuff right in here right now. And their boxes. So their coop is still doing well. Time to fill it back up with more material so we can keep making compost. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to leave you with a few minutes of Chicken Compost Condo TV. So all that means we're just going to walk around and show you what the chickens are doing.